Hello. Um, I'm just gonna do a trigger warning. Uh, this will have suicide. Um, this mentions Yellow's death. I will go over that in a minute if <laughs> you don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of the animation community knows by now. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about suicide and, uh, partly this person's death. So if that is something that makes you really uncomfortable, then I probably wouldn't watch this video. Um, there's gonna be opinions, but I have personal experience and external experience about this, so I'm... This, so <laughs> this sounds so, like, up high mighty, but I'm pretty, uh, knowledgeable in this area on all ends. So, before I begin anything, I'm gonna put the suicide hotline up because whenever someone dies, uh, especially if it's if it gets around that this person died, the suicide rates go up. So I'm gonna put the phone number one eight hundred two seven three T A L K talk, which is eight two five five. It's gonna be on there. You can also go to suicidepreventionlifeline.org. Um, I'm just I'm probably just gonna have it as the video. I'm not gonna do any other visuals except for this. So please, if if you are feeling that way, if you're feeling depressed and you're thinking about killing yourself, please think about either talking to me, talking, or calling this number and talking to someone because um, there's always a better option. So anyway, I'm going to talk about this thing that happened. So this, this person that was in the animation community, I believe she's being called Yellow. Um... I never knew her. I didn't know about this until my friend told me, and it's really sad. I, I think she was 13. It's very young. She was 13, and she posted a note on DeviantArt saying that she was going to kill herself and allegedly followed through and killed herself, um, which is very... It's heart-wrenching, honestly. Like, I can't even imagine someone that young thinking that that was the only way out. Um... Yeah, I, I can't even articulate. Um, so yeah, that happened. And there have been a few MAPs going around honoring her death, which is fine. Um, especially since they're made by people who actually knew her. Um, I personally think this might have gone a little out of control with how it's being handled. Um, this is kind of like Project Clover Kit. If any of you know about Project Clover Kit... I know I'm not supposed to talk about Project Clover Kit, but honestly, at this point, it needs to be talked about. Uh, Project Clover Kit was um, started, I don't know how it started, but this young artist's work was posted on one of those like bash tumblers, and um, someone was like, hey, we should support young artists, Like, don't make fun of them like this, and so they went to that person's DeviantArt and started drawing like mass amounts of fan art for their character Clover Kit. Um, and it kind of got out of control, so much out of control that the person like deactivated their account because they couldn't handle this much attention. Um, and I honestly think that this, as tragic as it is, it's being way too like thrown around because the people that are making the MAP for yellow are people originally those people knew yellow and i think that is their right to honor their friend but when people start making maps or even like huge tributes not tiny like i'm mourning their death i'm sorry this happened but like as if they knew them it's sort of offensive to the people that kind of knew them there's a difference between mourning someone's death and appreciating their life and, um, just using it to glorify yourself, honestly. And you're like, oh, I'm just gonna hop onto this hype train and make a MAP so that people will notice me more. Uh, that's kind of a selfish move. Using someone's death to, uh, uh, make yourself popular, I guess. So, I personally, I don't think that's right at all. So, of course, Yellow's death alleged death we don't know if it's real i mean uh the people that know her say it's real and so i'm going to believe that it's real but take everything on the internet with a grain of salt 
I think it is just it's getting around and I've I've heard that there are a lot of people who are also uh, allegedly killing themselves because they want quote unquote this amount of fan art and which is awful you shouldn't do that because the attention is not what someone wants when they go to commit suicide it shouldn't be most cases if not all cases that I've experienced or that I've heard about from my friends or other people who have contacted me to like get help have been because it is not because they're not noticed enough it's normally because they one they feel like a burden on others or two they feel useless to others and they're like well I would or in three <laughs> it's like a combination of the two like if I wasn't here things would be so much better or if I wasn't here no one would care which isn't it's sort of attention, but it's not like, well, if I wasn't here, I'll be famous. It's a completely different thing. And moving on from that person specifically, um, the reactions about suicide have made me really uncomfortable and um, <laughs> livid, pretty much. Um, uh, you've <laughs> if you've been paying attention to some projects, I've uh, pretty much gone off on a few people because of how uh, they've been talking about suicide. Um, I talked with Butterfly Identity and she clarified with me and I was like, oh, okay, that's fine because she said that suicide was selfish, not as the person, but technically because it hurts everyone around them. So it's suicide itself, the person is not selfish, but technically it is. Which I can understand because, like, if you take a cookie instead of giving it to your friend, that's a selfish act. It's kind of like that. It has nothing to do with reflecting on the person. So, yeah. But then there are people... <laughs> I'm not... I'm not gonna name names, but I feel like this person pretty much accentuated what my point was. <sighs> I'm just gonna have a big fat sigh. Because... Yep. Um... Let me just find this comment. I'm not going to do the name because I don't do that. <clears throat> they said, Suicide is very selfish because you are killing yourself for yourself and yourself only. You don't care what your friends or family will think or say. You are a selfish jerk by committing suicide and it bothers me that you don't know that. Okay. Let's just go over this. One. <laughs> if someone is suicidal, they are very much in a dark deep place they are incredibly sad they don't know what to do they're hopeless probably depressed um or yeah n normally they are depressed from again my experiences that's obviously not everyone who is suicidal um <laughs> i'm gonna read what i said to them because it pretty much puts this in a nutshell um one of my friends has a likely chronic disease and um she was feeling this way because she felt like a burden and she didn't care how much pain she specifically went through but she worried about like i'm siphoning so much money from my family i'm just like i'm interrupting their lives uh it would be better if they didn't have to deal with me that is not selfish at all like she doesn't care about herself She's caring about what she's doing to her family now and how what she thinks will make them better if she wasn't there. Obviously, that isn't true. Like, it's suicide is never the way someone should go. It's not... How do I say this without being bad? Like, <laughs> um, if the person commits suicide, it's... Because they think it's the best alternative. It's not because they're selfish. It's not their fault for feeling that way at all. And it really makes me, like, upset that people think that they're just doing it to hurt others because it's not it, obviously. Like, that was one friend. Myself, um, I've felt that way and may or may not have tried and the first thing I thought of, and the first thing other friends of mine that have been through this have thought of, is your friends and family. You never really think about yourself at all when you're in that stage. You, like, 
you're like, oh, do I really want to go through with this? Will my parents be sad? Will my family be sad? Will my friends care? If they're in that deep of a place where they're like, no, they won't, then that will allow them, I guess, not closure, but it makes them feel more justified in killing themselves. Um, I thought about my family, I thought about my mom crying specifically, and I was like, if even though I feel like a burden right now, I can't do that to my mom, which that is my own decision, and that doesn't make anyone else who tried something different that doesn't make them selfish at all either because everyone's decision is their own people feel differently and yeah <laughs> um let's see what else did i say um yeah most people think like they're a burden and uh yeah so too long didn't read it's not selfish to commit suicide and i i think the whole thing I'm getting from this yellow thing, from 90% of the people that I've talked to, is they're like, wow, it's really sad that she died, and suicide isn't the answer, but also suicide's really selfish, and if you do it, I hate you. And I'm like, so basically you're saying that this poor girl's death is sad, but you think she's a selfish bitch because she, uh, I guess, did it to hurt others? So, I, I, I guess I'm not really understanding the sentiment of all of these hypocritical comments. Um, if you are that low, you, it's, it's okay to ask for help. I know that you probably think you don't deserve it. I didn't think I deserved it. Prob it but you do deserve it. You are important. And it's okay to, like, talk to your parents. If they're not willing, then you can contact me you can contact the suicide hotline you can try and find a therapist on your own there's lots of ways to get help and like just don't be afraid because I was afraid of medicine and I'm just really glad that I ended up <laughs> getting medicine because I don't even know I honestly don't even know if I would be here if I didn't like get the chemical imbalances in my head because again it's not something you can help mental illness is a real illness and you don't have to be mentally ill to be suicidal, but it's, you just, it's okay to get help. <laughs> I keep rambling. I'm the worst at this. Um, also, when you say they're selfish for ruining everyone else's life, you're dehumanizing that person who committed suicide. Like, you're saying, wow, what a bitch. They're hurting everyone else. And I'm like, but what about the person who thought the same thing like you're accentuating the problem you're the reason they feel that way because they feel like they're not important and that they could just leave the earth and it would be better and so when you say wow you're really selfish because everyone else is gonna hurt, get hurt but you don't care about them that's just gonna push them even more to suicide so can you please stop and instead <laughs> instead of shaming people who have felt that way when again they cannot help it at all um, how about we try grieving for them and then spreading awareness for suicide prevention instead of just being like, suicide selfish, don't do it, or you're a dick. Because, uh, that's really not the way to go. Not only is it untrue, but it's really condescending and it's not gonna help anything. So, again, there's the line. If you want to talk to me about anything that is bothering you if you want to talk to me if you're feeling like you're going or that you want to commit which i don't recommend you do because you are important and a lot of people need you i love you i don't even know you and i love you and that sounds <laughs> so like cliche but for real you are important oh <sighs> so yeah uh too long didn't read stop calling people who commit suicide uh selfish um I hope Yellow is resting in peace and that whatever gods they believed in or if they didn't believe in any gods, I hope that they are just in a place where they are calm and peaceful. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say about this because I personally did not know her, but the way everyone was reacting was making me extremely uncomfortable and I didn't want like the wrong idea to come out because it's causing a lot of people 
to get even further down in depression and thinking even more about those thoughts. So, yeah, thanks for listening. If you want to talk to me, comment, uh, I'll put my Skype in the YouTube channel description. I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how to end things. <laughs> Bye.